This is the most effed up video you're going to watch today. See how far white guilt has got. If, if someone tells you you've got white privilege because oh, you were born white and this or because you were born white, you're inherently evil or you've got so much advantage in the rest of the world just because of your skin color and so you should pay tribute or something. Tell them to F off. Straight up. Go F yourself. Don't bring that nonsense over to me. Have some self-respect. Stand your ground. These lunatics, these walk idiots are turning vulnerable, lily-livered white people into like bunch of mental, mentally insane people. This white guilt nonsense is for real. Man, watch this I video. I don't have an answer for that. Is Nigga. there something else I can help with? These people are trying to listen to me, man. Oh, fuck out of here, man. Watch this video, man. You'll be surprised. Watch this. Here it is, right here. There you go. This is the white man. Get these white women and get these white people in here, man. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Look at this guy. He's got his... Is this for real? Is this for real? He's got his boot up there. And these white people are coming to kiss his boots. I woke up in the twilight zone. This can't be happening, man. This can't be happening. And these white people are coming over to kiss his boots. The kissing is... Keep on coming, Mr. White Man. Keep on going. Keep on going, man. Most of ain't Christ, man. You understand? Now, they showing, they showing what it means to really salute a prophet and a, and a priest of the Lord. Keep going. Keep going. The part out. Show y'all. Come on, folks. Get your boot kissed, man. Get properly saluted. Get properly saluted, man. Keep doing what y'all doing, man. Get properly saluted. Everybody, come get properly saluted, man. This is a white, this is a white couple. Right here, that's proving that they here it is, right here. There you go. <laughs> what? what about racism, anti blackness, or violence? About racism, anti blackness, or violence? I will use my voice in the most uplifting way possible. And do everything in my power to educate my community. I will love my black neighbors the same as my white ones. About racism, anti blackness, or violence. White guilt is really a mental disorder. For real. Look at this bunch of white people on their knees, sitting on the ground with their hands up, like, Oh, please forgive me, black people. Please forgive me. I enslaved you. Please forgive me. What? What? Whatever happened back there, back, whatever happened back then, happened back then. None of these people here enslaved anyone. You'd be surprised. None of these people here... Probably their ancestors probably never even enslaved any black person. Do you know how expensive it was to have a, a plantation with some couple of slaves on it? Do you know how expensive you think? <laughs> you think everybody could do it? Up until the eighteen hundreds, that was when chattel slavery started becoming a white kind of black thing, like a black slave, predominantly black slave, white owners thing. Before then, before the eighteen hundreds, anybody could get it. That's why it, to reparations is going to be quite impossible to to do because when you really go down to bloodlines and incense and ancestries, that's when you realize lots of these white people here are probably descendants of slaves themselves. And you'd be surprised when you see some of the black people ancestors actually own slaves. You think people? Let's say, for example, right in Africa right now. People that are going over to Europe or trying to come into European countries, drowning in the Mediterranean seas and dying there because they're trying to come for a better life. You think those are the rich Africans? Those are the poor, broke Africans. The rich Africans don't leave because everything is dope over there because they've got money. 
You can live anywhere in the world as like a king if you've got money. The white Europeans that were coming over to America were not rich. They were not rich. They were coming here for a better life. Like those ones dying in the Mediterranean seas. The white people coming they were, they were coming to America from Europe and some other, the other Caucasian countries were not rich. They were broke. Very, very poor white people. Very, very poor white people. Couldn't even eat through square meals, let alone owning a slave. Are you serious? We've been brainwashed so much. Look, look at these people kneeling down. Oh, please forgive me, white man. Forgive me my transgressions. What? Oh, oh no. We're so separated from reality, separated from each other. So busy. Uh, Thinking this person's your enemy, that person's your enemy. Don't talk to that person. Don't be with that person. They're trying to oppress you. You're a common man, worrying that another common man, because of the skin color, is trying to oppress you. That common man is just trying to get by. You're so distracted so much by little things that don't matter. You don't see the big picture. That we all at the bottom, at the bottom of the pyramid, doesn't matter what color skin we are, are all collectively being screwed by the government. And the people up there in the pyramid, we at the bottom are the ones being distracted with all this color and knee and kneeling for the national anthem and all this rubbish. While we're being collectively, all of us are being screwed, man. Seriously screwed. No lube. Dry humping the hell out of us. <sighs> this is the end, y'all.